I think it's obvious that wealth is not a zero-sum game because there would be as much wealth as there was on day one of the planet Earth as there is today. Agreed. And clearly, there's more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're watching this podcast via the internet, mm -hmm. wealth is not a zero-sum game. Um, and no matter how poor you are today, even if you're the bottom 1% in America, food is easier to access for you than the bottom 1% of America from, let's say, 1800. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Still sucks. You can buy it. You don't want to be, you don't be the bottom 1%. <laughs> you can buy it. But yes, like every like a rising tide has raised all ships, in my opinion. And I think wealth is not a zero-sum game. Sure, maybe despite not. Despite the fact. And, I would, and by the way, yeah. I think that the wealth gap could increase to a level it's never been at before. But still the lowest level of poverty would be better than the lowest level of poverty in the past, which is to say, even with the disparity increasing, wealth isn't a zero sum game and people are benefiting from the wealth of society. But what I would say in that case is that the uh, human element of yes. frustration could make that a worse society because wealth inequality is what oh, drives. Oh yeah, you could be happier while you starve to death. Yeah. No doubt. So uh, what was the second part of the question? Definitely not a zero sum game. Uh, are we heading to a dystopian future where a few corporations control the world? Are we not there? I'm confused. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, remove dystopian, right? I'm, no value judgment. No value judgment. Are we heading to a world where a small amount of corporations control the world? Uh, so I'm going to try to, I, I don't know the answer to this question, but I'll look at the arc of history. The arc of history is that there was no centralized power. There was just individual tribes and power games fighting against nature and each other. And what has happened is then a government formed and it consolidated power and then it formed a business. And they. And so it, it seems that power has tended, at least since the early days, to consolidate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even to some um, extent, the EU is not perfect, but like France and Germany used to just fight all the time. And now they haven't since World War II invaded each yeah, other. Well, like there's... The idea of the United Nations uh, 10,000 years ago is insane. Yeah. That's, that this group of people over such a vast continent would listen to a handful of people and follow their laws and cross when only the stop sign said you could is, is bonkers. Yeah. So I don't know that it's actually necessarily dystopian to say that power consolidates. Now, do I want Amazon running the world? No. <laughs> you know, like, I think what you want is power that answers more reactively to the populace over which it governs. And I think the problem with Amazon is that it's not one person, one vote. It's like, look, Amazon has done really well during the pandemic, which is to say the votes for Amazon <laughs> are coming in, but that's not like society isn't improving as a result of Amazon's mm -hmm. lot improving. And it could be that only 10% of Americans used Amazon, but Amazon grew in power. So what you want is not necessarily, it's not that consolidating power is bad, it's that consolidating power without a mechanism uh, by which it is influenced from the governed is a problem. Sure. There's also a chance that we just head towards a VR AI driven world where there's no more th the resource scarcity doesn't exist anymore, which is to mm -hmm. say maybe a couple corporations would actually run the entire planet. But your own experience would be as much serotonin as you'd like infinite, yeah, 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 an yeah. infinite resource society designed by yourself in your fleeting moments in reality prime mm -hmm. before you just got back into VR. Which might be amazing. We forever. might not even be in reality. Prime yeah, no, no, no. So my point is, that's, that's my <laughs> we point. might like, be there right now. Will power consider, uh, <laughs> consolidate? Like, absolutely. Will corporations play a bigger and bigger role? Will corporations have as much power as major governments? Mm -hmm. I think yes. All that's true. Oh, it's certain. They already do. Will there's, be, there's corporations that are far bigger than many governments. Yes. Like, will it be to your detriment? Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. So the dystopian is the only part that's a question. <laughs> yep. Hope that you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to see more like this and have us do more podcasts, we are 100% funded by our generous patrons. And if you'd like to contribute, there's a link in the description and we'll have one pop up on the screen right here so that we can do more podcasts where we have fun conversations and hopefully some deep ones like this. Either way, hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.